Mark remembers me coming home and saying, if there is ever any disease I do not want to get, it's scleroderma. Scleroderma is a ruthless disease. It's the disease that turns people into stone. A lot of people with scleroderma wind up with hands like claws that are completely unable to use. I had a chest x-ray done and it showed that it was in my lungs. And that first doctor said, you know, this is really not good. I just remember sitting in the lab of the basement of the doctor's office just sobbing. And I knew right then and there without a doubt that I had scleroderma. I wrote a letter to my husband, Mark. You know, I would tell him it's it's okay. The girls are going to need somebody and they're going to need to accept somebody else. And, you know, I want you to be happy and to move on with your life and to get through it. I wanted him to know that it was okay for him to move on. And you know, I very easily would watch the three of them and kind of just take myself out of the picture. I was, I was preparing to die. Then one night, I heard about a new cutting edge procedure using adult stem cells taken from my own body that could stop and even heal the damage being done by scleroderma. Um, almost immediately before I left the hospital, my skin started to soften. My chest, which was really, really tight before my stem cell transplant, just really thick and tight, I noticed started to get softer. When my lung functions improved, that, that was a pretty exciting thing. I remember, you know, I had a pretty big smile on my face when I came out to the waiting room and saw Mark. This disease no longer has power over my life and my family. I don't need that letter now because I have real hope of living a long, happy life, watching my girls grow up and growing old with my husband. Prior to my getting this disease, I, I didn't, all I knew about stem cells was what you hear in the media, which I had, I thought it was embryonic, that that was the only type of stem cell transplants out there. There's no controversy involved in using your own stem cells. So the whole argument and debate goes away. I mean, isn't that the solution? That this, this can help so many people. You know, I'm still here two and a half years after my transplant and I don't think I would have been prior to it. it. It's a miracle. My name is Amy Daniels, and adult stem cells saved my life. <laughs>